When we hear music, it, it goes into the ear and then all of a sudden it starts to stimulate different parts of the brain. If you actually look at this under a scan, the brain lights up like a firework display. So even if one part of the brain is damaged, say with, with a dementia, it will still reach other parts. Today we'll be at the Sefton Park Palm House where they have a monthly tea dance and we always have a playlist for life stall there where we can offer everyone the information about how to create a playlist and we do a lot of one-to-ones with people while we're there in helping them to find the soundtrack to their life. So we're equipping our nurse and allied health students with the skills where they can go into practice and they can actually use this with people living with dementia. So if someone, for example, with dementia listens to a song that is meaningful to them it has lots of different reactions one of the most common ones is that it puts someone back in a familiar place and we know that when we're in a place of familiarity we have a reduction in agitation we have a reduction in distress and what we do see with people with dementia once they have this personalized music they are eating more they're drinking more they're communicating better as well in hospital i was with a patient who had dementia she couldn't remember past five minutes, in fact. Uh, so I was constantly introducing myself, telling her who I was and where she was. And I asked her if she had any uh, particular songs that she was interested in or she can remember from her past. And she couldn't remember them at the time. So when her daughter came in, I asked her daughter if she could remember anything and she gave me this one particular song. And every time the patient was a little bit confused or uh, agitated, I'd sing this song with her and she started telling me all about her past and where she grew up and it just unlocked loads of memories. And then the following day, uh, when I met her again, we sang and she grabbed hold of my hand and she said, my daughter comes to see me, doesn't she, every day? And I don't know how it did what it did, but it opened that up in her mind. It was only short lived, but she remembered for that short period of time that her daughter had driven all that way to see her every day. And it was really effective. And that wasn't medication, that was music. Near enough, everybody has a song that elicits an emotion. With, with dementia, obviously, people are losing their memories. They're not able to think the way that they used to be able to. And it kind of just brings them back into the moment. A music detective is someone who can work with people living with dementia and their family members in finding the soundtrack to someone's life. Sometimes you can just get this in a conversation. People will be able to tell you what their favorite childhood song was or a song that reminds them of a family holiday. For other people, maybe if they're, for example, non-verbal, we will use detective skills through um, asking questions to family members. We can also use other resources such as digital ones. So sit with people and play songs that were maybe popular from the age of 10 to 30 of that person's life to see if we can get a reaction. If you notice a negative response from a song that you maybe you're trialing with that person, these are what we call red flag songs. If that happens, make a note of that and steer clear of those tracks. Lots of studies from Playlist for Life have seen huge reductions in unnecessary prescribing of medication. And we're actually seeing GPs now prescribing playlists to residents of nursing and residential homes for this reason. <laughs> Just start using it, see what the reactions are like for yourself, and then make it part of your, your everyday practice. It's just an amazing way of getting to know about someone's history of their life as well through their own personalized playlist. I think it's amazing. It's so, so simple but it's so effective. Regardless of what the patient's been through and what their comorbidities are, you can use music to brighten someone's day. And I think that's what's uh, really special about music.